Hello everybody, today we will ingest logs from a Kubernetes cluster into Dynatrace in under 3 minutes. So here we'll click on add cluster within the Dynatrace UI. We will actually select Azure Kubernetes service because RKH cluster is deployed within Azure. It will provide you with documentation on how to install Dynatrace operator to get metrics, traces and fluent bit to get logs into the Dynatrace UI. The good thing about this is that if you can actually restrict uh, your logs to come in from only certain resources, you don't have to do it or get the logs from everywhere. Um, and this can be done right here on the UI. So there is no YAML file changes here, but we will not be selecting this. We will just make sure that this is enabled. And then as we scroll down, we have to generate the token. So we have generated the token for fluent bit, and then we will download the fluent bit values.yaml file. Um, I will first add the Helm chart and then install it. So here I'm going to add the Helm chart into my AKS cluster seems like it is already added. So one thing is done. The second one is going to be apply the YAML file and then install the actual Helm chart. So let's do that. This is the second part of it. Um, okay, seems like the deployment was successful. Everything started working and then it is pushing in, pushing out logs into Dynatrace. And we did all of this in less than a couple of minutes. So we were able to install not just fluent bit, but also port the logs into Dynatrace. We will now give it a couple of minutes before we can actually go into Dynatrace and look at these logs. I am back into my Dynatrace screen and here I'm going to select on the cluster where I just installed the fluent bit. It is this cluster. I will go into the K8 Dynatrace and see if there are logs that are showing up that are coming from fluent bit. Um, seems like there are some logs or so Dynatrace was not just able to send the logs or we were not just able to send the logs into Dynatrace, but also attach them to the very right cluster where we are supposed to get them. So we it took care of attaching everything for you. And then if we run the query, we can actually see all of these logs coming in which tell you that um, there are not just the fluent bit logs, but then also the logs that are coming in from the different workloads into this particular cluster. So you see that you by installing fluent bit and adding that fluent bit helm chart into your Kubernetes cluster, you were able to pipe all the logs into Dynatrace and then these will be attached to the right cluster and to the right workload within your Dynatrace environment. If you did find the video useful, you can now go to dynatrace.com slash Kubernetes and there you will get details about how you can actually start monitoring your K8 environments with Dynatrace and you can see that it doesn't take a long time to get all of this set up. You can get it done in less than 10 minutes where you can get full observability into your K8 clusters within Dynatrace and happy monitoring.